hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. spinning bike delivered it was very heavy I had to carry it up um, well I actually didn't have to carry it anywhere I just slid it across the floor <laughs> but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to work out now I'll start tomorrow maybe <laughs> all right I hope it's a good one Hey, Chloe, what's up? Hey, girls. All right. Let's see if I can find some groups on Nagoni. There's a group that looks for specifically a warlock and they're not inviting me how could he possibly how could he possibly decline agony i don't get it hey laser beam did you see the grub neck clip about key pushing no can you link it The Golden Girls reunion. <laughs> There's uh, something in my eye. Okay, what's this? Like log on for raid, he's gonna go. And then the guy didn't log on, and he typed. He typed. It's push week. It's push week. And then they kicked him out of the guild. Fucking dog of shit entitled M plus players, dude. Holy, nobody cares about your push week. You dog shit M pluser, brain dead. Unless you're winning the fucking MDI, who are you? What is your push week doing? Stupid yeah. motherfucker! My it's push like week! Right? Right. What you pushing, bud? What you pushing, bud? Yeah, you're not I'll pushing just, shit! I was just standing here. I think somebody's on despawn. Dead. You competing what with is, JPC and cool? fucking Echo and all that? No, you're not, huh? dude. You're not. You're just some dog shit survival hunter playing flavor of the month. You're dropping all the bombs. Your screen's. Like and what's he doing? If he's not well first, then why is he even raiding? <laughs> huh? Why are you raiding if you're not well first, huh? You're wasting your time doing mythic raid, thinking you are somebody? And then what? Hmm? Then what? No one cares about your mythic prog. No one gives a shit about your mythic prog if you're not echo or liquid. Yeah? <laughs> What's your raiding, bud? Lighten up, you're mashing your fucking buttons, and then you're saying push week! Holy shit, get pushed out of the guild, you stupid fuck! Anyway, yo, can I get a summon? I need to be angry, yeah, sorry, I didn't say this uh, very angrily, I'm sorry. I need to learn the ways. <laughs> I need to be angrier. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> was he being serious, or was that a bit? I think he's like... I don't know, honestly. I think he's partially serious and partially trolling most of the time whenever he opens his mouth. <laughs> I love, can I get a summon at the end? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. We're doing T.O.P. With our friend Chiso.
Okay, cool. We have to invest first pull, I guess. So we don't do the so we don't ninja pull it with ring again. Uh with incap thing. Hey Kenna, what's up? <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Hey, Muna. Hey, make yourself, what's up? Okay, let's try. Okay, we have double ring. Maybe we can actually Five, four, skip it without three, invest. Two, one. Hey, Natalie. What's up? Hey, Ali. Oh shit! I shouldn't have signed my pets. Ugh. Whatever. Welcome, one and all, to the theater of pain. It seems these uptarts I'm not encumbered. Well, I'm encumbered with this raging dude. All of Shit. I'll believe it when I see it! By the way, this should prove entertaining! Bring in the challenger! I didn't get stunned, I'm so happy. I'm steering pain on me. Oh shit. Welcome, friends. I don't have a dispel. How many times does this uh, happen? Thank you so much for sub, Lindy. What's up? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. How unexpected! It seems our little. My chat has been asking if we uh, are gonna get together the Golden Girls again. The real trials can begin. Hey, D. What's up? Mysteriously enters. <laughs> Mysteriously enters Shadow with an excited look in his eyes. <laughs> I've been reading this book and I was like, what the fuck, dude? How could you possibly read that expression? I'm so confused. I was thinking, is there something wrong with me? Am I supposed to be able to read this stuff? Like, I don't understand. Oh, we're doing double? Okay. We killed Vi? I guess? I'm gonna stun it. I dropped, I dropped. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna give this guy a curse of weakness. Make sure I tend him back. Nice, we're doing it! Holy shit, we have so much damage. This, this comp. Windwalker, Survival Hunter, Warlock? 
kind of insane. Open, please. Who's Necro? Oh, the Windwalker, obviously. Yeah, that makes sense. Now that I think about it. I should finish up this guy before he kills our tank. Oh shit! Yeah, I was standing in that. <laughs> Nothing happened. I just like to chill in a pot once in a while to keep it on cooldown, you know? Optimizing my cooldown usage. We're not playing. Wait, I don't have a pot for 26 seconds. If we don't, if we skip this. I'm dodging it, I'm dodging it. Okay, I've got a pot now. Nice! Your bones will adorn my armor! It's the bad lady. Dutch this. Wow. It hurts. It's a frontal. Ah, oh, do I have to infernal here? I mean, I kind of have to. I don't really have to. I'm wasting the urn. Mm, whatever, I'm not doing I'm not doing it. I'll see. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I dwarf racial this. <laughs> fuck. That hurts. Roma. Probably should have infernal fuck it. This not this not dying. I'm getting out of the PS by the shaman. Are you kidding? How's all of them on me? Does it not go on on the shaman? On the healer? Is it only on range DPS? I guess so. Oh, the same it's not. Okay, so I just was unlucky, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much for raids, Alranis. Thank you so much. I hope you had a good stream. No one in Warlocks yet. <laughs> you had best make this interesting. Fall before the storm. Oh, I just hit the banner on accident. Do you want to do that? You're not killing banners, right? Can you match my strength? You show me Earth's dying right now. Oh no. That's really bad Earth timing. <laughs> Ooh, 
This is really bad earth having. One of us! One of us! Thank you so much for gifting us out to our names. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for that news. Wait. I'm gonna unending resolve this one, I guess. I don't want infernal just in case I get sent down. Oh my god, I'm not gonna. Oh my god, I love this! Never getting sent down, let's go! Oh my god, he's so they somehow survived? Thanks for six months, Lark Slayer. What's up? How are you? I'm gonna dismiss my pet just in case it pulls. Even though it wouldn't, but... Uh, at least I don't think it does. I hope everyone else remembered their pets too. Okay, <laughs> yeah, where are we going? Bloodlust, yeah. We could last the Gorcha pull, maybe? Well, it's silly now, I guess. We could have lasted the Gorcha pull. Like the entrance area pull. Mortal lives are so fleeting. Whatever. So fragile. Stunning. Ascendance. I'm gonna dwarf this. The dwarf's so good. I love being dwarf. I'm stuck on something. <laughs> Tell. Sorry, I pulled. My son was still up. Infernal. I'm just gonna unending resolve this one. I think I infernal. To make sure this guy dies. Yeah, I'll put some hard stones in a second. I mean half stones. Human time. Frankly, that's a skill issue. No way! Oh, that killed. Oh, I thought I survived, and then the the application of the dot killed me at the very end. Cause the last tick came out, and I was alive. 
That's so stupid. I didn't even know the application of the dot does damage, honestly. I thought- I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? The- the curse? I thought it- it just gets applied. I didn't know it does damage. I guess it doesn't do a lot. But I was so low, so it killed me. I don't have Infernal now. I should probably imp this pool. Okay, I'm not gonna dispel a tank though. Dispel the hand again? Shit, this hurts. Can you spell the hunter in a sec? Oh my god, thank god. I'll summon my fell hunter in a second again. Seven seconds. For instance, summon. Okay, I got it. This is a weird looking moonkin, I know, right? <laughs> Okay, I've interrupt now. We need it. I just got this guy. All stun. Oh my. Oof. I'm gonna die. In time. Oh. Oh, we killed. Whoa. <laughs> oh, maybe we could skip technically, but I don't think that's skip. That's in a route, right? Let's just finish up this bone mage so it doesn't kill us. And interrupt this. We don't have interrupts right now. Yeah, we kill Wo and it's kinda hard at the interrupts. I guess. Nice. I think I have Infernal here, because then I have it again for the boss, probably. I'll use imp again for next pool for the spells. We should have enough interrupts with our shaman, right? But I'm not dispelling the tank. I'm dispelling myself. the hand in a sack. Actually, got the spell already. Spirit may totally. Is that a shaman? Uh, monk's dead. It's fine though. I don't think we have to rest, right? At least not um, out of combat rest. Uh, in combat rest. <laughs> the 
There shouldn't be any damage here anymore. Can I put someone else on stun again? Hey Ori, what's up? I hate that platform as a caster. I think everyone hates this platform, no matter if you're what you are. <laughs> I think it's just the... Yeah, we can summon. Oh, did we not click this? Yeah, we can summon. Oh, he's here. Okay, nice. Is he here? We should save less for the next pull, I think. Well, your souls are mine to claim. Let your fears consume you. There is no escape for you. Relinquish your soul. I haven't popped it in a hot minute. Relinquish your soul. I'll pop the next bloodless pull, I guess. Unless we need invis. We might actually need invis in the board shop area. Fuck. I'll save it. <laughs> Wither in my grasp. Relinquish your soul. This is a bad overlap. do with the uh, infernal here I, uh, I kind of want to save it but it feels bad nah the boss is so high i'm using it fuck it i won't have it on pull then though there is no escape for you. this boss kind of needs to die relinquish your soul use anything here I guess we just got debuffs so so I don't think we are in trouble I'll use dark back for this let your fears consume No, I only run imp when there's... It, it depends a little. Like, I obviously run imp on this boss. Uh, if there's a soul binder, they apply a magic debuff that hurts a lot. So I sometimes run imp there if I think we have enough interrupts. Because obviously when I'm running imp, I don't have any interrupts. And there's a lot of to interrupt. So I only run imp if... If we have... Like, for example, I rest a shaman, right? Because we have so many interrupts with a shaman that we don't necessarily need mine too. And then I can just dispel the Soulbinder magic debuff, which does a lot of damage. And the healers usually don't have enough dispels to get rid of all of them. Look what we have here. Fresh meat. I'm gonna stun real quick. There is no toting. Interrupt this. Oh 
Holy shit, that died, and it was not me. Holy damage. We refreshed here. I can't even get my full infernal damage out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, at a 2645. Imagine having so much damage. Enough chaos is dropping here, but drop that. Oh, no one's going to drop this. Yeah, no one had an intro for that. I'm gonna rest. Human time. Ascendance. I'm gonna rest in two. Okay, I managed to get it off. Okay, there we go. Do we have interrupts? Yeah, I think we do. Oh my god, that somehow... We somehow recovered that. <laughs> Jesus. We have so many uh, diseases, but... Well, so many, we have two. <laughs> oh, I got shot. Uh, I'll just... War facial that one. So I don't die. <laughs> Missing this? Oh yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, we did pull. Are we playing it? Cause I invest now. Shit. Oh, we we can summon. Or rest works too, I guess. Not sure if he's in range. Oh, he is in range, okay. I just can't spell to the leftover next to me. It's okay, don't they have to die, right? Gonna chop you up. Smash you to pieces. 
And Gorship is just such an annoying boss as a caster. Just never get to cast abilities. <laughs> Very annoying. Oh. Gonna chop you up. Healing tide. Ah, uh, then there's a storming that spawns on top. More spare parts. Smash pieces. Gonna chop you up. Thank you so much for gifting stuff to Alex. I appreciate that, 2000. <laughs> Every side, so what? Oh, did I chaos bolt at the leftover? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm sure nobody would have noticed if I didn't say it. <laughs> it's time to begin the main event. Yeah, there's no reason to bring Moonkins for high keys at the moment. They're just... They just do very little damage. I mean... I, I'm pretty certain that I, if I would be playing Moonkin in this key, I would get out DPS by the Brewmaster. I'm fairly certain. A rising star. Okay, we have so much time, we should just do this by itself. And then uh, kill the boss solo. The boss, how long does this boss take? Like three minutes, maybe? I'm also gonna save Infernal. I'm gonna say mainstream proc as well. I have 26, 25 seconds. Can I put a gateway just in case we need? Behold my power and despair! Should we kill her? Oh, we did, okay. You shall be swept! Do I have no haste? Death oh, we have to deal with deaths properly, right? Is so there like scaling higher now or something? Huh. We have enough AoE damage, I think, to deal with them. My magic reaches beyond your mortal ken. It's a bit close. You shall be swept into oblivion. All whom you have slain cry out for vengeance. Dude, no one took any damage from this. <laughs> We have less than 27 seconds. I'll save my infernal for it. My magic reaches beyond your mortal ken. Death itself demands your Actually, I'll just use infernal for these sets to make sure we're fine. Ascendance. Stunning. Okay, nice. You shall be swept into oblivion. Oh my god. <laughs> Woof. You're fine though. 
short uh, minor heart attack. Reaches beyond your mortal ken. That was pretty sick. <laughs> that key. Oh. We kind of smurfed that key. says what's up <laughs> 27 plague fall sure How many points do we get? Plus eight. Insane. We can also play my DOS, but uh, I don't know how easy DOS is. I think the timer's not too bad in DOS though, right? Happy Friday, Mai. What's up? <laughs> no, I don't really play Moonkin anymore in Plaster Kenes. Sorry. Don't worry, don't suck. I beast you. I'm glad you did well at your new job, Bijou. That's awesome. I have a lovely phone, phone voice, apparently. That's that's amazing. Nice, nice. <laughs> Some more orientation next week, but we're also doing more calls next week. So the job is mostly calls. Okay. You've been selling anything? Just booking appointments? Nice. Oh, that sounds like my nightmare job, though, yeah? Making phone calls to, to, to make appointments? That sounds like an actual nightmare to me. I don't even want to call people f to do my own appointments and then i oh no man calling people on the phone is uh whew. but what echo did a 30 top and had the same time we had at last boss on 26. <laughs> Well, well, well. I thought it would be a nightmare to me because I don't like calling people, but when I have a script of what to say, it's nice. Yeah, I can see that, I guess. Yeah. And you get used to it eventually, really. I think uh, you get used to it really quickly.
one second. Ah, it's good. 27 plague farm. I need three minutes. Okay. No problem. What route do we play in this dungeon? I think in this dungeon there's so many different routes people play and, and I guess it doesn't really matter. Most of them are fun. As long as I don't die in the second boss. Jesus Christ. It is just my... Kryptonite on Warlock. <laughs> I never thought that boss was hard at all when I played Druid, but my Warlock is just like, it's just a nightmare. I don't know, man. That boss is just, um... It's too hard. <laughs> right, Bladams? I agree, um. I agree. I mean, we could maybe go double necro. That'd be nice, I think. I'm not sure if we need. Here we flex. It's a good evening, good morning. Both is fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's morning somewhere and it's evening somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna bear back one second while we wait for them to go the Covenants and the Shamanist it can. Friday Tales, yeah, it is Friday Tales. I hope y'all have a nice weekend. Friday is the best day of the week. <laughs> yeah, let's check this. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> man, why can't I? What the fuck? My chat's not working. Okay, one sec.
All right. <laughs> what do you mean, D3? I just needed to ramp a little, you know? Needed some ramp up time. Nagani is now uh, flying. I decided what show to binge watch this weekend. No, I started rewatching Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Maybe watch that. <laughs> no, I don't know what to watch. Honestly, I need a new show. What do you mean Vampire Diaries, not Pog? What do you mean? Such a good show. Yeah, people said season four of Stranger Things was good. I go. I like how someone puts a repair bot here. this yeah the boys yeah i like season one and then season two i stopped watching midway through or something it's kind of meh i'm still sad they didn't continue what was it called Five, patriot four that was such a good three, show two one we in missing on pool, I guess. Oh, I didn't sell some the tank. So, the House of Eyes has finally sent someone to kill me. You're welcome to try. The horrors within these halls will make quick work of you. Stradama's plague will soon be mine. Gonna wait until they're stuck so we kill them at the same time, yeah? Oh my god. I don't have any shards. Oh my god, it's sank so fast. Healing tide. There is my totem. Nice. Oh, we, we don't have banning shots, okay. Yeah, it's fine, we can heal the ads. Shouldn't be an issue. This mob's not dying. We have a touch. I did infernal. Oh shit. He's done. I really liked Severance, by the way, in case you guys haven't watched that. It's on Apple TV. 
Severance is a super good show. We're killing stuff too fast, so my infernal is not gonna be ready for the buffs. At least not in pull. Very unfortunate. I'm just gonna unbanish. We got the neutral boy because of my infernal. Okay, don't worry, I got my thing back up now. Soonish, at least. I'm not banishing this, right? Okay, we trap. We're gonna have to kill those. Okay, they died so fast. Ink up this red. That was a mere taste. <laughs> Can't you count? I know, do. right? Once I control it, all of Maldrax My boyfriend really likes death and robots. I personally was done. not the biggest fan. Well, maybe it's just like, I guess because all episodes are different, some are good and some are just not that good. I don't know, I thought they were just like too confusing. It's like there's just no uh Oh. They're just so open ended, you know? That's what's bothering me.
they're for sure stun the art now, right? No way they're not stunning. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Oh shit. Should just normal rest, I think. It's not this basically that. Should get rid of these first though? Yeah. Wonderful! More test subjects! Unleash the plague borders! Pets dying to the frontals? <laughs> it's actually that. Stupid pet. I'll stun them with their little. Fast? See that? It Don't interrupt the bus. Uh. I'm gonna hit the boss now. I had a mini boss. Oh my god, it actually did it. <laughs> oh, that's in this? What she Yeah, maybe I should watch Stranger Things, because I stopped watching it because it, it became kind of weird, or not so good anymore. But people are saying that the new season is really good. Um, I'll rest. I'll take it. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Kinda sketch. Thanks for 54, Agrathar. What's up? How are you? You cannot comprehend oh, my cool. best specimen. Is it 
kill the jokes down here. Ascendance. Where? Spirit Mentorians. Oh my god, we almost killed something else. What this needs is some flesh! Consume! That ooze. Okay, we're good. The next procedure will be a real blowout. <laughs> Let's add an accelerant, shall we? Oh my god. <laughs> I did not comprehend where this one's going. Are we killing this? Okay, we're good. I'll rebanish. Oh my god, why am <laughs> Man, I don't know, dude. Oh shit. Oh shit. We have no Belarus. Hmm. I think you have to reset. Yeah, hello, where bist du denn? This need is some flesh. Uh, we can still do this here. Next specimen! Idiot. I guess it wasn't only me that <laughs> didn't know how the geometry works there. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting us out to Thorns and appreciate that. <laughs> oh wait, what happened to our shaman? We can't summon yes to release. Yes. Oh, oh no, we- oh, true. I forgot that we have an out of combat rest. <laughs> true. There's some benefit to having out of combat rest people. Yeah, time is still fine. Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, we definitely had a hard time dodging that there. But hopefully genius. we're fine now. We're missing the haste buff now, though. I mean, it's definitely gonna take... Uh, the timer is gonna be a bit uh, questionable now. But we'll see him. We were really fast until this point, so maybe it was too bad. Let me cast this well, please. Now to test this slime on you. The next procedure will be a real blowout. <laughs> An infusion of aggression should do nicely. Oh my god. Oh. Man, this boss I just gives me nightmares. Now to test this. I'm gonna re seven. Uh re banish him. We're facing soon. We were so fast. I hope we have enough damage for our next bomb. It's time this experiment has an explosive result! <laughs> I 
didn't unbanish the other one. I'll just fear it when it comes back. Fearing? Yeah. That hurts. I'm gonna revenge. I'm just gonna jump soon. An infusion of aggression should do nicely. Hearing this guy. Nice, we're good. Now to test this slime on you. So you emerge victorious, but at what cost? What vile mixtures now course through your veins? That is the plague's true power. It lingers, festers, destroys you know everything it touches, even the victim. Dude, I'm having such a hard time killing the correct uh, relic. It's actually kind of insane how hard I have to try so or actually dies. Like, I have to double Chaos Bolt it and still barely just dies first. Because <laughs> you have so much AoE, it's, so, it's insane. a bit far. Not been so foolish. Had you reached out and seized the Man, I hated bursting interrupts eyes uh, with mount stand. Pass. I will correct his mistake. All will suffer as the house of eyes has suffered. Oh shit, that was an ambush. I think we rest for time? Oh, no, we only have one. Okay, we lose. Oh, that ambush. <laughs> Like, look! 
Are you kidding, actually? I chaos bolted Earth twice. Two chaos bolts. And we still kill Woe first. Like, I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> it's like someone's trying to purposely kill Woe every time. And then, I mean, it's also really bad for me to use Chaos Bolt when there's so many mobs, right? Like, I'm being the most ethical gamer here, Chaos Bolting the, the correct relic. And then we don't even kill the correct one. It's insane. I stunned some of them. I could have aimed that blasphemy much better. My blades will rend your flesh. I will slay you where you stand. Oops. Fear the dagger in the dark. Watch the Fonto. My blades will rend your flesh. Oh. I will slay I kind of you where you stand. So we are not super unlucky with the fixates here because we don't have a bubble, of course. We don't have a mind control. So let's hope we don't have the same people get the stun a couple flesh. of times in a row. Your demise comes from the shadows. Is all it will take. See you later, Thornton. No target has escaped me. The shaman doesn't have astral shift right now. Okay, still fine. We should have astral shift for next one again. Fear the dagger in the dark. Target has escaped me. Hunter, that's not turtle. Ooh. My blades will rend your flesh. No target has oh, escaped me. Maybe that. Your demise comes yeah. from the shadow. That's uh, very unfortunate. There's just nothing you can do. A single scratch is all it will take. No target okay. has escaped me. Good astral shift again. I think on mechanics like this, they honestly should put in like a bad luck protection. What do you think about that? My blades will rend your flesh. Cause it's just so RNG. No target has escaped. Like, if the hunter me. gets it like five times in a row, he's gonna die three out of five times, right? But if he if the hunter only gets it like once in a while, then it's fine. So I wonder if they should maybe put a bad luck protection or something. I can. 
some desire this power in Oh, I just have the wrong person. Let's see. Let it play. Kill this devoted. Otherwise, the bus jumps here. Any helpers? Okay, I got it. I Welcome. guess. We've been expecting you. It's okay, guys. I got it. But Ur is not gonna die if I'm not here. That's for sure. I don't think we have to banish. We can just not kill it, right? Hell infernal, though. I'm so slow. Gonna give us how a soul stone to the tank. Behold, my fire work, my pride, and my doom. Can you feel its anger? Racial, this one, right? We do have double dispel. I guess we're dispelling the hunter. Who's this to die? I probably shouldn't have infernal there at the very end. Oh? Oh, I got auto attacked by the boss. <laughs> but I'm alive.
Okay, I shouldn't have found it. Use unending resolve for one diva. Aggro from those, right? Technically. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was still pretty easy considering that we had a full wipe on a boss. <laughs> We're inting a little bit on Dr. Ickes. <laughs> nice! I'm Shiv. Congrats, congrats on your 20. Yeah, hi, Thanks for your sub, Iron Potato. Again. Thank you so much. Hi, Nilo Vigats. That's a druid lock going going great, cold, going great. Hey Nahara, I'm having fun, yeah. What about you? <laughs> Streets 28, sure. Let's do it. 28 streets. Sounds like a fun key to me. Du sponsor han? Ja, der er fire ham, gal. Ja, min ganske kollega er en rock and back form, og det bliver en ganske lande hjemme. Så hvis de spiller computerspil en ganske ganske vækkende, og drikker vi vin. Aber så klinger vi en fuld cool. Not allow the beauty of Tazibesh <laughs> to distract you from our shared purpose. I haven't done any high streets on fortified. Well, also not on tyrannical. But how hard could it possibly be? Alright, bear back one second. I mean, maybe do do we do twenty eight or how we how hard is streets on high keys? Honestly, I don't know. Is is twenty eight like bad? Is streets hard on high keys or is it kind of whatever? I'm not sure. I haven't done one. We could do twenty seven, but I might as we might as well try twenty eight, right? We do twenty eight in this house. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Twenty eight it is. Nice now. Congrats, congrats. How long do you think Warlock will be meta? All the way up to Tempo No. I mean, it depends on season four, right? And yeah. We don't know if there's going to be class changes in season four, because technically, if the high, if the item level moves up, and if we have new dungeons and everything, it's very possible that they also change classes. We'll see. Them. But yeah, one second, guys, we're back.
Hold. Entry is restricted. Surrender your weapons and follow me. Surely we can come to an alternate agreement? There will be no agreement. Lethal force authorized. Okay, um. We're going right? Wait, there's people that cast bombs on the right? What kind of bombs? Who does that? Wise guys? No. Oops. Who are the guys that cast bombs? Calcars? No. Hmm. Did you see Dwarf Gora on Discord? We should do a great job, right? Really? Let me see. <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Look at Dwarf Gora. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Love it. Okay, let's see how this goes. How many times do you think I'll die? The male boss seems a bit scary. Just doing the vent, probably the hunter? Hey, Craswick, what's up? How are you? Five, four, three, two, one. Entry is restricted. Surrender your weapons and follow me. Surely we can come to an alternate agreement? There will be no agreement. Lethal force authorized. Al Chaos built this. Cool. Spirit may told him. I'm an ethical gamer, of course. As you all know. Okay, 
let me heal her. I'm trying my best. I'm killing her, I'm killing her. Okay, we got it. Oh, I... <laughs> I forgot that I had my imp out. Holy shit, those mobs really hurt on the tank. Have been randomly selected for death. Bron, what are you doing? <laughs> Bron is soloing the minibus. Map has a lot of HPM. Okay, we got Ur, nice. Do I really need Imp here? Like, I feel like the healer could dispel all of that. Right? 
Unless you would do a double pull or something. Just go like this. I am stunned. Intruders in my city. Not for long. You should never have come to Tazavesh, stranger. You are more drop your weapons, or I will seize them. Rally to me. Let us hear how loud you can scream. Okay, so this is gonna be the hard now, right? Oh. Okay. You should never have come to Tazavesh, stranger. Jesus. All contraband will be confiscated. Hear how loud you can scream. You should never have come to Tazavesh, stranger. All contraband will be confiscated. I don't like this boss one bit. I didn't get any weapons yet. Somehow I'm not getting targeted by any of them. Prepare to be oh nice. Is that one on the hunter at least? You should never have come to Tazavesh, stranger. Oh my. Oh shit. That hurt a little. We're going to have to deal with this one. Oh. That's not gonna reset, right? Wait. How the fuck did that confiscated. just die so quick? You should never have come to Tazavesh, stranger. Feeling time. I now understand why everyone's playing demo in this key. The bosses just take an hour. And you can't really do super big pulls either. I guess it makes sense. A necessary tragedy. Unfortunately, we have now to well. the Ire of Cartel so. Avoid what there's an invis guy somewhere. You need to be careful. <laughs> the, la the last time I did this, I died because I used Rain of Fire to get an insta proc and then I pulled the invis guy. <laughs> but I'm learning, I'm learning. Let me 
totem. Oh shit. Somehow. I honestly don't know what that was. Walking against the thing. Wait, we're killing Woe here, right? For the event or no? Think that would make sense? Sorry. Then I'm, I'm gonna go and trigger it real quick. Probably should be me that's triggering it, but whatever. Mises Oasis, the most intoxicating establishment in Tazavesh. <laughs> yeah, definitely shouldn't be me that's triggering it. <laughs> I'm literally the slowest. Cartel Owl's signature. <laughs> uh. Zog, surely our friendship has ascended such necessity. Ah, uh, got it, I got it. Triggered already. He can do the event. A friend here may be of help in acquiring. Why is so the signature? hunter could do the event right now? Did somebody help? Well, whatever, that I guess. Is a disaster. Wait, who is that? Where is Basim? I think we had to do woe here because we already had the woe, right? And that had triggered the event. That was the whole purpose on why it triggered the event. <laughs> so, whatever. It is a boost now. And it's too far away. Can we get a bit closer so I can use this? <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's gonna. One of us! One of us! Thanks for subbing, Duel. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, and happy Friday. Until our next transaction. Nice. Remember, everything has value. We're doing Oasis first, though, right? Because we don't have lust for this guy. Died. Did you still get the? Oh shit! No! How big are? 
out of your arms, dude. Frankly, that's a skill issue. Fuck. I was so far away. What? The arms are so big, I could have survived. And by big, I mean long. Uh, let's see, can we still do this? I mean, we can try, I guess. If we don't have last, we have to do Oasis. What's the password? I didn't see you. Enjoy your stay. Oh. Wait, do I have an add-on or something? It does this automatically for me? <laughs> or did someone else click? I don't know. More oh, shit. Whatever, I didn't put a gateway. We don't need it. More entertainment! I fell down. A round of applause, please, for our next musical act. Degenerates? Ah. Ah, get out of our club! Club. Oh shit. Easy, all of you. This is not that kind of establishment. Mm. Oh my god. There's a little bit of an unlucky placement there. Ow. That hurt. Club. Are they enraged? Stunning? Oh, they can't be stunned though. Ah, confiscate their instruments. Ah, get out of our club. Nice, again. You do not want me to intervene. 17 seconds, I'm a proc. Oh my. Oh! <laughs> you are bad for business. And see where this is facing. Oh, uh, am I missing? Closing time. I see, I see it. Oh 
man. My son is there. Head into the gateway, sorry. Closing time. I fell down. I don't think you can put it from downstairs up. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop dragging us. Since I witnessed such a vigorous show, my establishment would not survive another. Apologies, Almeiser. We desperately need your signature. Cocktail Soul's underhanded dealings have not escaped my attention. You okay, um, my let's see if we can do this boss. We have last. As long as you never again bring destruction <sighs> to I'm my gonna horses. put gateway up and stuff. I'm gonna put this one here. And I'm gonna summon him. Set a dispel. Vanish just for a second. Parcels containing fluid must be destroyed. Special. In time. Oh, I hope I'm fine. Jesus Christ, it hurts. Them all? Yeah. Parcels containing fluids must be destroyed. I'm gonna say it. Special delivery. Money orders require verification by photo signature and blood. Handle it hurts. a good spawn for us. Parcels containing fluids must be destroyed. Let's stand in this one. Special delivery. Spirit may tell him. Fuck, we're so unlucky. Can we survive this or should we just suicide? Somehow we're surviving this. We can just kill a boss, right? We have touch. Special delivery. Ascendance. Minutes, a bit close. Oh, thank you. I'm never so seen maybe a room so disorganized. You are quite welcome, whoever you are. No, we are in need of Zoe's signature. Oh, you mean this? There are dozens I'm not of sure if this works, but I'm doing there. 
Take one. Ah, yes. Thank you. No problem at all. Gotta find a way back to Oh, Oscar. yeah, that's a problem. After I make a few process improvements around here. Peacekeepers are always gonna charge over there. I can't put my infernal here. I'm gonna have to put it. Oh my god, can I not put it anywhere? Oh shit. I'm putting it here, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Target the uh, peacekeeper right now. Uh, we have to rest. I guess we have to fuck. Sorry, I'm stunned. What is going on with my character? Oh, okay, there we go. What the fuck? I couldn't play my character there for a sec. Tank doesn't die? Oh. Okay, we should be fine now. We're gonna stun for this nice ring. Maybe don't extend. Have a good one, Jack. Enjoy. The allegedly demon cursed edge of oblivion. We'll start the bidding at five thousand. Do I hear five thousand? I hear five, six thousand. Yes, six. Kerker Zai has a profitable venture. Hopefully, this inclines them to aid our own. What I need is a distraction, the kind with sharp teeth. This beast will do nicely. Wait, how did that beast escape from its cage? Yeah, okay, I think we're a bit short on time, unfortunately. It's a good try, though. I mean, maybe if we, like, super blast. Never know. We don't have a mage for our spell steal, right? For the next boss. Our rampaging beasts ruining your day. We have the solution. Watch as my assistants act. 
activates this bastion. Can you dispel it with the maximum shaman dispel? I guess so, right? With controls this easy, even a dredger could do it. I am awakened. Destroy everyone. Imbecile, turn it off. It is out of control. <laughs> Thank you all. That concludes our demonstration. <laughs> Cleanse yourself with annihilation. I can grip? Wait, what? Overheating. I mean, I know I can pet the spell, but I need the nymph for a magic to spell. Prepare for purification. Cleanse yourself with annihilation. Prepare for purification. Overheating. Bending anima. Variable dimension tumblers would keep me out? <laughs> Pathetic. Done. Come to mama. And that's just gonna spawn in a second. Overheating, vending, and change the man. Prepare yes. for purification. Cleanse yourself with annihilation. Come, um, take my turn. Boss just takes so long. Fuck. How fast but can we kill the last boss? We've lost and everything. I don't know. Um, I think it's just gonna be barely not enough time. I'm gonna have to infernal here too. I will rend your soul. Summit. I don't have Infernal with Bloodlust and Pool. I kind of have to use it here, right? It was close enough considering Our that we is a had so many deaths. Especially if it results in your departure. That's kind of crazy. Excuse our intrusion, Solia. I hope we caught you at an inconvenient time. Al Dalil, is there no sanctuary from your filth? Put proximity in time, yeah. I just I don't have infernal, unfortunately. Only suffering. <laughs> uh, suffering. We're lasting on pull, I guess. I must it makes sense to last on pull for the hunter. Here. kill this guy. Man, stop it. Every sun has its center. Okay, I'm infernal now. When out 
number divide your enemies. Strike from beyond the reach. Okay, that was uh, completely random. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm blasting now as much as I can, but it's, it's not that much, considering I didn't have a last. A tidal wave begins as a ripple. Come here, Mr. Boss. To remain still is to invite defeat. Strike from beyond reach. I'm so close, I can't believe we almost timed this still. That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so far, I'm gonna blink through him. A tidal wave begins as a ripple. I mean, maybe we want to go out so we can do 27? I don't know. It's not my cue. Well, we tried. It was it was pretty close considering. So I guess this key is really not that hard. Oh, we got 16 points though. <laughs> We're 3.6k now. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Marcos. Yeah, it was actually super close. TP27. <laughs> we could do that, technically. Ascendance. We can also play my cam. That would be nice. But yeah, the timer in this dungeon seems not that hard in the streets. I mean, the, du the dungeon itself seems hard, but if you don't have any, like, mistakes or anything, you're fine. Because we wiped up, or we lost a lot of people. We never had, like, a full wipe or anything, but, but close to. <laughs> Thanks for the 34 Navy Lab. What's up? How are you? Sure, we can do TFP 27. I believe. Yeah, Dust 28 is probably harder than Streets for sure. I would assume so. It is an honor to be Me too, Neville. Me too. Challenge. You I do not speak the Spanish now. That call the great houses to the arena, if you are fast enough to do so. Yeah, I know you can remove the officer shield, which felt. I mean, 
the Fell Hunter dispel, offensive dispel, is a normal defensive dispel, just like every other offensive dispel. Right. Fell Hunter can do it, Shaman can do it, Hunter can do it, Demon Hunter can do it, Priest can do it. That maybe is it? I think that was all. Should we work on a shield then? Yeah, as I said, it works on the shields, but I'm playing with Imp, not with Fell Hunter, because there's a magic debuff, two magic debuffs that get applied to the group, and the healer cannot dispel both. So I'm playing with Imp, that means I cannot use the offensive dispel on the shield. But I also don't need to use the offensive dispel when we have other people who can dispel it, right? And I'm the only one who can do the magic dispel. Yeah, I don't know. We can do TP, we can do DOS, I don't care. We can try to need DOS. Man, that Windwalker's a big blaster. Yeah, we're not sure if we want to play top or DOS. I mean, DOS is on. Yeah, DOS should be fine. I mean, it, the bosses are a bit hard and the masks are hard, but just survive, honestly. Just, just heal it. One heal is all we need. Okay, one for DOS, two for top. Let's do DOS. No one's voting. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go, Das. I just poured it here, though. Okay, we have two Das, one top. I've been playing some TFT, guys. I'm now Diamond 2. 
Only playing ethical comps, of course. Okay, let's do it. TP27, how hard could it possibly be? Let's use this one here. We are on a strict timetable. Oh yes. We will not oh yes. Now we time it for sure. But there's a new stat next week? Oh no, that's too early. That's way too early. Two, one. I think I'm getting played by Jet on Twitter, but I don't have time to, to look at it or to listen or to watch Welcome or whatever. One and all to the theater of pain. It seems these Thank you. I was a bit afraid there for a sec. I'm looking for a team I'll be killing her because I'm not focusing it. Yeah, that's not her. That is not her. Oh! I'm stunned. I, can rest. I can't rest because I'm stunned. I'm still stunned. I am stunned for. Please! <laughs> okay, I'm in a pot. I can't rest. Okay, I think this is just depleted, right? I lost so much time since then. try but we did lose a lot of time no, I will not be Okay, we all interrupted. Your agony should prove enlightening. Nice. I can't believe uh, our tank is still alive, actually. We've been fighting this boss for. Our this is like a tyrannical fight right now. Seems our little pups have some bite after all. 
Now that the preliminaries are over, the real trials can begin! Yeah, we were one minute slow in this boss, but uh, we made some mistakes in the TOP earlier, so I think if we make no mistakes, we could still possibly time it. I think we could. New challenges. Ah, we'll see how long you can last. I'm just gonna get rid of this bucket. Speak for you. Hmm, yes, to release. Am I going to lift that next area? Oh, yeah, devil interrupt, dudes. this something that was intended we have to line of sides spirit may totem Uh, oh, now the captain is here, so yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. <laughs> well, that was a bit scuffed anyway. Frankly, that's a skill issue. It's okay, we tried. No, not really, Charlie. I'm not really feeling the PvP at the moment. How fair your battles. leave the warlock survival meta if there's balancing changes to bear the torch of challenge 
Use it to light the braziers that call the great houses. And as far as I'm aware, they would only do that when season four comes out. I don't think they randomly change stuff. Usually, at least they don't. When it comes to M plus, for rating, it's different. If in if in a rate, a certain class underperform or overperform, they will nerf or buff them. But in M plus, it's a bit uh, different. They don't necessarily change the meta randomly in the middle of a M plus season unless there's a patch, like a raid or something. They might change it for season four. So yeah, if you want to get rank one title, then I would recommend starting to play a class that could possibly that could get it easier. I think you can get rank one title with every class. I don't think you need to play anything super specific to get rank one title. But if you want to get it with pugging and whatever, then I would suggest to start playing something like a Windwalker, or a Warlock, or Survival Hunter, or Rogue, or maybe Demon Hunter, I guess, works too. Okay, we can still play my 28 DOS if you... I'm up for it if you guys want to play it. I'm gonna find a group that plays with voice, I think. Also, why stir? For now. I don't mind chilling playing without voice, but. Uh... Oh, there's just. Huh? Why can't I not report this? Report group. Appropriate communication, inappropriate name. Can you not report for advertising anymore? Did they remove it? Hmm? Oh, there it is. Ah, I see him. Okay, 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 I see him. What's Brian to doing today? Oh, they were playing again. Okay, cool. Good for them. Good for them. Alright, let's be right back one sec and then we'll see if we can find a group. Possibly with voice. Maybe. Okay, one sec guys, be right back.
Would you please hurt my knee? Hey, Tushy, what's up? Happy Friday. I will never hear the song the same again. Okay, what would I technically need? Sanguine Depths, Spires, Mists, and Doss. Man, my mist is really low. 25 mists only. Where are all the mist keys? <laughs> the beast playing with Lepan. Oh shit! They full? Ah, uh, they have a warlock. Oh, he's playing Druid. Damn, the Druid gameplay. I do need a 27 Necrotic Wake, technically. Oh, look, it's Meow. Oh, it's mists, but I'm not a healer. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, they're Russian. I mean, I can learn Russian real quick. How hard can it be? It's crazy how many keys there are, like high keys running. Insane, LF, LFG is uh, booming. No, I don't have a team. I'm just pugging. <laughs> yep. I'm the good old pug legend. I already have 27 holes. Music sanguine. They need they want a demon hunter plus a hunter. Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> that is not me. Come on. Anyone give Negany a chance. Plus four. Two thousand. <laughs> this person wants two thousand seven and fifty Ryo. But they only have 2,000. 
That is such a typical puck thing to do. To ask for 700 more score than you actually have yourself. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah, Muna. <laughs> Technically, I would uh, have to demand 4,300 rating. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> oh my god, we got invited. Let's go. Insane. 27 missed. Easy. What happened? Did they wipe? Get two, three stacks. I don't know. Maybe that's too much. I think the biggest fine. problem. The biggest like, problem. Yeah, they but we can't yeah. kick them because there's like shit and there's. Yeah, they're all in the shot and we're just melee kicks. Yeah, I know. But like, uh, yeah. it's just the main thing that's like what's killing me. Unfortunate. Three case L twenties. Um, think so. Yeah, three case L twenties. I think that's true. Nice, Mercury, congrats. The moth cocoons in Shimmerbow are growing out of control. Can you help collect them? Yeah, like approximately all 30s, uh, 20s, right? Approximately. Usually it's much easier to do some keys higher and the others lower. Like, for example, Gambit is much easier than, uh, say, Sanguine Depths, right? So you can do like a 22 in Gambit. And you only do an 18 in second dots or something. It's also interesting. One thing that I noticed a lot is that on really high keys, certain dungeons are easier slash more difficult. But on lower keys, when you're pugging especially, the diff difficulty of dungeons kind of changes. You know what I mean? Like, for example, Necrotic Wake, I would say it's one of the easiest keys to do on high levels. But um, on lower keys, Necrotic Wake is actually not that easy, I think, because there's a lot of things you can kind of do wrong, and you can use the weapons wrong, and, uh, you know, like, I think there's so many points in a dungeon where you can make mistakes. But in high keys, Necrotic Wake is, like, one of the easiest keys to time on, like, really high levels. And same goes with like Mists of Turn Aside. Mists are really easy key on low, lower levels. But uh, at some point, Mists becomes really hard on high keys because, specifically because like the first boss is really hard to kill. <laughs> and yeah, Plague Fell as well. Plague Fell is really easy in high keys. And the lower keys, people struggle a lot to do Plague Fall. A human racial on my, on my Omni CD. Oh yeah, that's, that could be human racial. Yeah, the paladin's human. Any tips for someone who is literally starting from zero, learning to heal, and is mostly a solo player? Mm. Well, I don't, the, a few things that I can recommend a healer is um, making sure your UI is set up nicely. First of all, Make sure you have proper bindings for everything that are mouse over bindings. Like you don't want to click onto players if you want to heal them or dispel them or anything. 
Like all of your friendly buffs and friendly heals should all be mouse over somehow. It can be like click mouse overs or normal mouse overs, whatever, whatever works for you. Because uh, you're just gonna have a much easier time healing with mouse over, or it's much faster rather. Um, so if you haven't done that yet, make sure you do that. And yeah, it takes some while to it takes a while to get used to all mouse over macros, but um, once you get used to it, it's much much easier to do. Um, I'll tell you that your interface should be set up properly. Like make sure your rate frames are good. Make sure you see everything that you have to see. Uh, make sure you see the defenses that players are using. Uh, best would be to use Omni City like this. What I have here. But make sure you really set it up so you see what you have to see, you know? Like see, like maybe even see if people have health stones ready um, or health pots. See if they have defensives up or not. See if they have immunities ready, cheat death, all that kind of stuff. Because you're going to heal differently depending on if a person... Ha like let's say there's five players and all of the five players are taking damage. But three of the five players have defensives up, right? Like if I have unending resolve up as a warlock or dark pact and someone else has nothing, then you would want to focus healing the person that has nothing up, right? For example. Um, and other than that, when it comes to actually content when you're healing, I think it's really important to try and um, really pay attention to what is kind of damaging you. Because when it comes to healing... A lot of healing is kind of um, preemptive in a sense. Like you need to know when damage is going to happen, basically. And you only know if damage is going to happen if you know like everything. Like if, if you know what all the mobs do, if you know what all the bosses do, all of the abilities, you know. Because if you know which ability is going to kill you or is going to do a lot of damage, then you're prepared for it, right? If you get surprised by incoming damage then that's really bad as a healer, because then all of a sudden, you know, like, you're sitting there, you're just, you know, like, la la la, minding your own business, and then all of a sudden, everyone drops low, and it's like, oh my god, you know? And then you, like, panic and whatever. But if you know that the damage is about to happen, then you're prepared. Then you can preemptively use certain, like, shields or defensives, or you can set up your heals or whatnot, you know? So that's why whenever you do any sort of content, you should be actively paying attention to what is damaging you, so when you're about like when you're doing doing an implus key, and there's like no damage for a while, and then all of a sudden there's damage, and you don't know what happened, then make sure that you actively like note that down in your head, and then after the key you can check what actually damaged you there, and be prepared for it next time. One thing this is not only for healers, it's also for for everyone else as well. If you're kind of new to implus specifically, or also to raiding. What you can do is you, if you have a chat add-on that has timestamps, then you can create a channel where you're the only one in it. So you join some random channel called whatever, and then you use that channel to note down times of the key or from the raid. So let's say you're logging your implus key and then something happened, something went wrong. Like there was incoming damage you weren't pre prepared for or you died or whatever happened, right? And whenever anything happened that you were not sure of what, what, what it was, you won't really have time to think about it in the key because you're going to have to keep going, right? So you don't really have time to look at the death lock. You don't have time to look at incoming damage. You don't have time of blah, 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 right? So what you can do is you just type something in that channel, anything, just like a dot, and then afterwards, you can scroll back up in your channel and see at what timestamps you put the dot. And then you can check if you're logging your key, you can go to the to locks afterwards and see what happened at that moment. You know, you can check, okay, this mob casted this spell and it wasn't interrupted. So that's obviously then an interrupt fail. Or this spell happened and the person was not full HP, so you could have healed them up before this happened, you know, and st stuff like that. That, would, that is obviously a lot of effort. But uh, it really helps to get better than plus quicker. Because um, 
everyone can get experience and plus by just playing Hello, the game, new friend. right? Welcome. Thank you so much for Prime Sub Luxury. Thank you so much. Because if you play the game a lot, you eventually will get used to all of those things. Like you will eventually learn what every mob does. You will eventually learn what every boss does. But it will take a while, right? Because there's so many things happening. But if you actively, like, really pay attention to what's going on in a key like that, with like noting down certain times and then checking locks, then you will learn what happens much much quicker, and you will speed up like the learning process a lot. Thank you so much for your stuff again. I appreciate it. Yeah, I like using click a lot. Click is um, an add-on that lets you bind mouse buttons as mouse overs. I even used it on my damage healers, like on my warlock. I use shift left button for soulstone, so I don't like I only mouse over somebody and click shift plus left click, and it'll put a soulstone right. And then I use um, use it as well for dispel magic dispel when I have my imp out. Then I just use right click. Yeah, I think this is like advice that always helps no matter what game you play. Like if you want to get better at something, this could even be something that you do in real life, you know? Like if you want to get better at something that is like, that requires multiple people or players, then it's really easy to, to not kind of acknowledge your own mistakes because there are other people that you can put the blame on and that is something that people maybe not even do like they don't even do it um consciously right sometimes you don't cut like it's not that you're like toxic it's not that you open up the group chat and you like flame people or whatever but you could still in your head you could still think oh it was this other person's fault so you know and then you don't improve because you don't think about your own mistakes even if your own mistakes were smaller than someone else's mistakes that doesn't mean that you didn't make the small mistakes right like whenever you make any sort of mistake no matter how big or small you should always acknowledge it because that's what's gonna help you improve instead of always thinking about what other people did wrong because obviously, whenever someone else does something wrong, it happens, but you can't make them play better, really. You know, You're like, you can't necessarily make them not do the mistake anymore. But you can help yourself and make sure those small mistakes that you made, you're not going to make them anymore. And this is something that happened to me when I switched to playing Warlock, for example. Because um, as a Warlock, I play Dreamweaver and I have Pot Tender, right? Pot tender is a cheap death. And when I started out playing Warlock, I would trigger my pot tender once in a while. And because I didn't actually die, I would think, oh, it's fine. You know, like in my head, I kind of ignored it. But you shouldn't ignore that at all, right? Like if, if you die, if you proc a cheat death, like if you're a rogue, proc a cheat death, or you pop, uh, proc your dream weaver pot or whatever you should always acknowledge that you just made a mistake and died right because yeah you didn't actually die and you might have like the key might not be dead but if you proc your pot tender and then afterwards you actually die to something that is not your fault then all of a sudden it becomes your fault because you could have had the pot tender ready at that point right But it's really easy in your in your head to disregard your own mistakes if it if you didn't actually die or if it didn't actually cost your group anything, and then afterwards when you die to someone else's mistake, then in your head you're just like, oh, it died because this other player killed me. But if you wouldn't have made the mistake before, he wouldn't have killed you, right? You would have propped the tender. 
So yeah, it's just like stuff like that you always have to kind of think about. Even with like really small mistakes, like even if it's just, um, I don't know, you didn't interrupt a spell, even if no one died, maybe that person had to use a health pot and then they died later because they didn't have a health pot ready, you know? Five, four, three. Like every small two, mistake can be something one. you can learn from, kinda. Okay, I wasn't really reading what we're doing. Are we missing? Oh no, we're playing the left pack, okay. Are we lasting? Then we kill Woe, right? I'm not gonna pot. I'm gonna install this guy. I'm gonna keep pot, pot for first or something. Villager has some health. Okay, cool. And also stuff like weak RS as well, like sometimes you die to something, um, you should immediately think about, okay, was this like, could this, could I maybe have an easier time dealing with whatever you died to if I had a weak RS for it? Because weak RS are something that um, most people just import whatever they see that others have, but sometimes maybe there's a certain ability that no one else has a problem with except you like it happens right sometimes there's like a certain mechanic that you have a really hard time like noticing or seeing or whatever and others maybe don't need a weaker effort but weakers can never really hurt unless you have your whole screen littered with weakers right ascendant so it's always better to, to have a weak guard than to not have it. Especially if you like didn't notice an ability or something, you know? And it's not only weak guards, it's also like generally your interface. A lot of people sometimes are kind of like I don't want to say annoyed, but uh, like too lazy, quote unquote, to update their UI. And even though it, it might, it's tedious, of course, to have like a perfectly updated UI all the time. But uh, UI elements can help you so much, as long as you don't overdo it, right? Because you don't want to, you don't want to completely. Um, Like, you don't want to have an information overload, in a sense, either, right? Because if you see too much, then maybe you don't pay attention to any of it anymore. So that is something you should definitely also consider. You will do my 
my bidding. Survive this. We have Darkness surrounds me. Don't me. And we kill her a bit later, it's already kinda low. Maybe we should last already? Uh, we killed her a bit early. Whatever, I'm gonna have to use my... I'm gonna have to use my stuff now. My zone is over there! Some nice damage by the uh, by the two blaster boys. I cannot control it. We all interrupted the first cast. I will use Chris of Tongues. Chris of Tongues works, right? On this boss. Survive this. Healing tide. I am your worst nightmare. I cannot control. What happened to that fear? Did that not even go through at all? Yeah, I thought my infernal. Too much here. I have soul rot in a sec. We have touch of death. Gonna hurt though. I cannot control. Shit. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> Oof. Um. Okay, I'm doing a nice thing. The definition of information overload is that you, have, you see so much that you don't pay attention to it anymore, right? So if for whatever reason you can have a million weakers and still actually see them all perfectly and never miss anything, then you can have as many weakers as you want, of course. <laughs> it's just that most people 
had like a limit on how much they can actually pay attention to, right? That's just a natural thing. But you can kind of prevent information overload by using different kinds of um, cues. Like, for example, you can mix visual cues with audio cues. You can um, use different forms of visual and audio cues as well. One thing that people really like doing in Mythic Plus is that they use the same sound for the same type of ability. So, like, every frontal has the same sound, every, like, let's say, dispellable debuff has the same sound, and so on, right? So, at that point, yes, you have a lot of different weak RS, but they're all kind of similar in, in what they accomplish, and therefore, it kind of is only one weak RS. And you can actively also just change your weaker as too. Like if you had a weaker this whole time, and all of a sudden you notice, okay, this weaker, no fooling you. Like I never really pay attention to it anymore, or it's like not helping me anymore or whatever. Then you can, you know, like actively just remove certain weaker as well. That's why usually when a new raid comes out and the people download these kind of weaker packs, then it's usually just a bad thing to do, unless you change it actively. Because the problem with weaker packs is that, first of all, they're all in like dynamic groups, so they're all in the same position. Which, Im for me personally, I don't like when all of the weaker are in the same position, because then it's very like samey. Because then. Yes, you have a visual cue, but it's all like it's in the same spot, no right? If you have visual cues that are in different spots, then you associate um, the thing that happens not only to the actual like icon that pops up, but also where does the icon pop up, right? Triple, right? There's nothing here. Where the hell is everything? Okay, I pulled something, whatever it is. I guess we already, already played that. Okay, I pulled the, the front here. Which is probably the pack that we would have played next anyway. Ascendance. up a little bit so the frog doesn't jump too far and watch the tongue I'll 
Bruce uh, Dwarf Racial this. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well, that is not good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Braun is tanking the, the frog press? Kind of far. Okay, we have fourteen minutes, a bit close. But uh, we can do it, I guess. No fooling you. Possibly, maybe. Interrupted. Not great. <laughs> you did it. Good guess. We lost Bloodlust and uh, Windwalker, unfortunately. Uh, who, maybe he wouldn't have interrupted that immediately. Spill. In time. The patty cake. Then maybe we could have dodged. Uh, I mean, skipped.
Yeah, no, that was a bit scary. I think that dog wouldn't even have stunned, right? Because it didn't have a circle. Oh, we don't have enough damage to dodge this one. Okay, we're not gonna skip. Good. Still? Save my friend there, maybe. I haven't been like that in so long. Let's do it again. We can ring skip. Aw, oh, okay. No more mists. Hey, this doesn't look right. It doesn't look right at all. Tear that side withers as the gorm beast. We can ring skip, right? Balance must. How do we have to invest? I'm in mean, combat. Frankly, that's a skill issue. Hmm, I should have waited for a rest, I guess. Wait, we still have the thing up, so maybe I can. Okay, we're good. Be released for some reason. I don't know how we could pull this reaver. What the fuck? Frankly, that's a skill issue. Mike, what's up? 
Okay, I got slappy upset because it's like, no, 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 no. Because just dies 20 times and then he blamed me at the very end. <laughs> like, he said, I pulled the, the trash pack. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to tell you. He died 20 times in a row. Then I went to battle rest him. He releases. this. Then he runs back to us through the trash group, pulls it to us, and then said, I pulled it! <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Why can I not whisper this shaman? <laughs> <laughs> Alliance changed you. <laughs> This windwalker, there was something wrong with this windwalker anyway. Like, it was really weird. Because he died a few times and we didn't say anything. <laughs> we didn't say anything, like, we didn't flame him or anything. But then he says, My girlfriend. He, he just said, My girlfriend. And then he died again, and then he said, sorry for her. She's going crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. So he was like blaming his girlfriend for something? I don't know, like did she, did she like hit him on the hat or like, you know, I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> anyway. Now she's even playing in a whisper. No, <laughs> no, the shaman just asked me if I want to play another queue. The stream is breaking the social contract. <laughs> the second we heard the speed of those keyboard clicks. <laughs> yeah, that was, some, that was some angry typing. <laughs> <laughs> First he blames his girlfriend, then he blames me. I don't know, dude. What can I do? At some point there needs to be some angry typing. Uh, Dark Iron Dwarf has the same active, except that you get, like, stats when you use your, uh, stone farm. And the normal dwarf gives you damage reduction when you use it. It's a 10% DR for 8 seconds. And dwarf, uh, Iron Dwarf gives you uh, stats. I don't like Iron Dwarf as much because... Well, I mean, I don't think it's bad. I just think that it's... Like, you don't want to use your Dwarf Racial as an offensive cooldown, kind of, you know? And then, what is it really good for? Like, if you're only going to use it as a defensive, then you're not going to use it on cooldown, first of all, right? So you're just going to use it whenever you need it. And additionally, the stats that you're gaining from using it might not actually be very useful because you're not currently using CDs or whatever. Maybe you're currently dying. Because when you use your dwarf racial, you probably have, you know, something going on. So maybe you're not even pressing any, like, huge damage buttons or anything. And then what do the stats really do? So it's like... Oh yeah, it's, it's physical DR, yeah. Which uh, is... 
obviously not as good as like a normal DR. It's more of a like, it's really nice for tanks. For normal damage dealers, physical DR is kind of whatever. Like most abilities actually kind of, most, well, I don't want to say most abilities, but a lot of the abilities actually don't do physical damage. Yeah, I agree with that, Johnny. For a healer, I think it would be probably good. Because as I said, physical DR is not necessarily something that you need that much. And a healer having secondary stats after dwarf ratio is pretty nice, I guess. It lets you use your trinket. What, what do you mean with it lets you use your trinket? <laughs> Johnny. Fair Blood puts, puts Shrink in on CD, I think. Oh, and wait, what do you mean? You mean the Dark Iron Dwarf Stone Form puts your trinket on a 30 second CD or 20 seconds? No, well, that's, I mean, it's, I, I guess that matters if you're a, like if you're a class that actually uses on use trinkets. So I guess that is something you can consider too. I'm not sure about that. We get a Mitch. Now let's do some spires. 26 spires, that's pretty nice. Thanks for 31, Charlotte. What did he even die to at the end? Was it aggro? I guess it was aggro from the staghorn. Yeah. Uh... Wait, storming killed him? <laughs> no, imagine dying to storming. Oh no. That's very unfortunate. Not to be fair, I also got hit by the explosion, right? Yeah, that was explosion. Dutch ball, back kick twice. Hmm. Maybe he was just drunk. Maybe he was drunk, honestly. It's Friday, you know? But he kept saying his girlfriend is going crazy. Maybe his girlfriend did something to him, and that's why he can concentrate. Something good and not something bad, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> good for him, if that is the case. <laughs> good for him. <laughs> or her. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and he's, yeah, if he says, or if they say my girlfriend's going crazy then you know going crazy in a different way in like a good way you know <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> what are you planning for the weekend nothing i've planned nothing i'm just gonna play video games all weekend drink some wine Maybe I find a girlfriend that is going crazy for me. Oops. From 1 to 10, how disciplined are you? In what way? <laughs> disciplined how? I think when it comes to like discipline, I think it very heavily depends on what we're talking about here. <laughs> I can be very disciplined in certain areas of my life. 
In others, maybe not so much. <laughs> oh no, Corey. The lack of basic restraint shows itself via yogurt intake. I actually don't eat that much yogurt anymore. Just because I keep forgetting to buy it. <laughs> That's the, the main issue. <laughs> Alright, right back one second. Gonna find my girlfriend. Bear back. All right. Hey, Shella. Thanks for 38. What's up? Put me in, coach. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Insane. We got the one and only in this group. What could possibly go wrong now?
That's very far. Our aspirants have heard much of... Do you feel more Italian or Austrian? People always ask me this question. And the answer is neither. I'm just from South Tyrol, you know? I feel South Tyrolean. It's, uh, people always say they, they feel like they're Austrian because obviously when they, like our language is much, is obviously uh, like very close to Austrian and our culture is also similar to Austrian, but I still don't feel Austrian. I don't know. Some people always say they feel Austrian, but I don't I don't think so at all. Sometimes I feel more Bavarian than Austrian even. But that doesn't mean that I'm like German or anything. Shit, now we're gonna get the ATPS really hard by Shella. And then you're all gonna realize that, uh, that it's just the class that is carrying me usually. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Can you ask Shella to hold back? Every everyone distract him. Give him a bunch of subs or something in his stream. Shall I get to play Affliction? <laughs> oh no, no, he can't play Affliction. What if he had to PS me as Affliction? That would be even worse. <laughs> oh, Shell is a female dwarf. Oh no. Okay, my look is obviously superior already. Male dwarf, obviously superior. <laughs> right? Nagani's much cuter. <laughs> Why am I always FPS lagging in Spires? This, this dungeon makes me lag, I don't know why. Sounds like a belt gamble to me. <laughs> <clears throat> We're a little low on kicks now. We have a Rasta Shaman and a Prod Paladin. We're good. Being a druid main and a lock alt, are you addicted to dots? No, I'm addicted to hate. It's the hate that I'm looking for. So that shows the two classes that are most hated by the community. Just can't get enough of it. That's why I'm also born female. You know, it is what it is. Five. 
You've four, seen a huge booby bust three, on Wow Hats? Two, I'm not gonna look. You're one. not baiting me. I'm not looking. That is the biggest troll. We are vastly outnumbered mortals. The Forsworn have cut a swath through most okay, of our Okay, who's killing forces. her? Am I killing it? Vanquish their rear guard while I confront devils. Go in service. Ascendance. <laughs> Well, we got what? Bye. I did try to focus it, I swear. Okay, Shallow was cheating. On God, he's using Sigil. Sigil is shit. For a second, I thought someone fell down. Oh, I picked up the weapon. <laughs> that was an accident, sorry. You were the What's wrong with Sigil? It's just cheating. Devils. And yet all this time, it was you who There's obviously the nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Your blind adherence to the path would have doomed us all. You left me no choice but to oppose you. Okay, this time. This time we're killing her. I'm chaos bolting. Is aiming out. I like it. Healing time. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Calculated dodge. Your doom takes flight. <laughs> oh man. Rip my zone. Are you supposed to play Imp here so I can dispel that magic debuff? Is that a thing? Oh, 
Thanks for 17 months, girl. What's up? How are you? Storming is so annoying here. Gonna stun. Mm, they're casting a bit. Ooh. Are we fine? <laughs> yes, girl. I'm glad you're staying safe. That is very important. Outside is very scary. Uh, do we want to pull this Praetor? Uh, stunning this? Oh. And we're back up. Oh shit. We're looking fine. Ish. Pray this a bit high. I mean, Rain of Fire is a good spell, yeah? You're just jealous. You wished you had Rain of Fire. But not everyone can have it. Not everyone can have it, okay? Listen to reason. Oh, you have? <laughs> the Kyrian must I stand united. I take it back then. <laughs> and the Chaos Bolt is Earth. Not so long as you command. The Forsworn will forge a new path for Bastion. Okay, blue is shaman. We should be fine for this. I'll just take this. Oh, we both took it. <laughs> it's okay, we still have to interrupt anyway. Guy. 
We can do this still, I think. I'm gonna aggro up this guy though. Thank you. Thanks for fear. Can still do it. I wasted some time, but probably okay. But are we skipping that next pack? Because I don't have. I do not have a pot. Oh wait, there's no pack. I'm stupid. Oh no, then I shouldn't have saved my blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, we can just last next pack. Or something? Eons, we have been told to purify ourselves. To let go of our guess memories, we can also last the double pull. Our loved ones. Uh, all in the name of service. But what do we serve? An impotent arbiter, an oppressive law. Our sacrifices were made for nothing. Bad timing. Come. It's okay, Shadow is going to destroy this pack. Shouldn't even have infernal. So <laughs> I should have saved infernal. I only got it up at the very end. Oh, we're playing this. Oh, okay then. It's whatever I guess that I infernal. I can just use it on this. Oh my god, he just charged line of sight. <laughs> that is so unfortunate. Two mobs are taking quite a while. Doesn't make sense though. Okay, I don't have a pot. I'm gonna need a summon or something. <laughs> oh wait, we're playing it. Oh, I see him. Okay. That's fine, I guess. for this Praetor? Spirit may told him.
this Inquisitor doesn't want to come down. I don't have a proc. This is where you meet your end. You cannot match my alacrity. Witness radiance. Maybe I should have dwarf racial the first. My celerity is second. Actually, maybe none. not. Got two anyway, I guess. I get only one. I mean, Witness not two. Radiance. From the shadows, I witness your demise. Oh my. They just disappear my halfway through when the face is over? I didn't know that. Huh. You cannot match my alacrity. Your sight is your downfall. From the shadows, I witness your demise. You cannot match my alacrity. Mm, I was just your infernal again. Is your downfall. Celerity is second okay, if I would have used the dwarf racial at the start, because <laughs> I didn't actually get the debuff again. Witness, I guess there is a lot of um, ranged. We have four ranged in this group. I understand. From the shadows, I witness your demise. Uh. We sacrifice because we must. Mortal burdens would only impede our sacred duty. Wait, there actually are Moonkin buffs? No. Or not. It was a mortal who exposed the folly of your edicts. Wait, now I'm confused. You're not trolling? Oh, the druid tree was posted. Oh, that's really cool. I'll check it out after this dungeon. That's really cool. Nice. Second cool dudes? Okay, I'm excited. I'm gonna give you a soul stone. We kill Bo, I guess, right? Oh, we all interrupted, and Shella doesn't. Or does he? I saw an imp earlier. Yeah, he's got imp out. Uh, it's okay, the shaman can probably solo interrupt this guy, the drifter. Ascendance. <laughs> I walked into the. You know, actually, 
actually have to walk around here, do you? What's Orbit Breaker? Wait, the full moon drop? Wait. Did you cast full moon every 20 set? Any 20, 20 ticks? Wait, seriously? Damn. I think if I infernal like this, we have to be careful when we pull the boss because we still have woe. So the boss is in reset. Too many shards. Who oppose us will be destroyed. Oh. Why can't I dispel him? There we go. Okay, I probably shouldn't have havoced the Ur here. I don't have a dispel right now! Wait, he faced so fast? I didn't have my infernal. That was the fastest phase of my life. Whatever. We're still infernaling, I guess. Can you get rid of this stuff with dwarf? Probably not, right? Or can you? you must be annihilated. Why is my pet dying? Hello, Mr. Pet. Oh, it's here. Okay, let's see. Tremble before my oh, power. Shit. We're gonna have Aldris Wasted half of it, but it's fine. 14 minutes. That should be fine. Yeah, that is totally fine, right? That is like super fine. It's not this fellow. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Memories, what I saw. We pull all angels. The core. But you refuse to see the truth. That the path is flawed. That we serve a lie. And so, 
I listened to the jailer's My blasphemy is gone. I learned of the Goodbye. great injustice you and the others thrust upon him. It was nice and knowing you. Upon us all. He seeks to free us from the prison we have built for ourselves. And for that, he has earned my loyalty. And I mourn your betrayal. Using Infernal at the end of a Rifrian was a bit unfortunate, because now I'm not going to have it for a while. And then you kind of want to save it for the other guy too, right? Hmm. We're going to have to see what we do about that problem. I'll get it back if I actually do I fuck it we're doing it I might not get it back <laughs> but it's fine I'm sure Shadow has enough damage for the, for the third angel it's okay I, I trust in Shadow here, right? Man, the camera angle here is not very good. It is not the cleanest camera angle I've ever seen in my life. At least I can look at that dwarf. And this mob is really not dying when we have two warlocks and a fire mage who are all holding cooldowns. <laughs> It is a struggle. I'm just gonna go over there. Oh, shh. Ha, ha, hum. Don't pull. <laughs> Give me a moment. I am, uh... See, you know? My girlfriend is distracting me. <laughs> Sorry, my girlfriend. Sorry, she's going crazy. I don't know. see where the spear is going. Oh, okay, yeah, we got it. No! Your Let's kill Vi! I serve a far greater power now. The age of the Forsworn your spear. Okay, we're killing it. It's happening, it's happening. Take control of the spires and forge new paragons to lead the No, Vi! Who's killing her? Who's doing this? Has you, your mind, you must Okay, I got it. 
No, Let's that's fucking go. <laughs> just don't get hit by the thing. I just fell myself. This spear shall pierce oh my. Don't kill thy. I got this one. Be gone from this place. Don't kill it yet. Who's killing it? it to bring her down. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Why am I dying? This fear shall pierce your heart. I will strike you down. I think this was the first time that I managed to kill Vi without anyone else nuking down her. I'm so happy. Boss face down. again. Thirty or something. Spirit may told him. I will strike you down. Hey, Anderson, what's up? Hey, gamer, what's up? How you doing? I think there's a point in saving cooldowns in this fight. I control the power of Bastion itself. Be gone from this place. The spear. Nice. Use it to bring her down. The last time someone missed the spear. This spear shall pierce your heart. Nice bait. Commit or die. Okay, it's a lie. <laughs> Just kidding. Good job, everyone. Oh, plus eight. Let's go. The We're getting all the score today. In the ranks Insane. The One that must be Thank healed. you very much for the carry, Shella. Even though your character is a female dwarf, is it a male? That our mortal lives are What's this, though? Why does he have a skull that is flying? What's that? And yet, the deeds of mortals What's the flying skull? What won the day? 
You have my gratitude. Once the jailer lies defeated, oh, it's an offhand. There may be much for the Kyrian. Scallop the Minari. Mmm, that's kind of cute. I want a flying skull. I don't mind doing DOS if Shella wants to carry me. Oh, it's the demo artifact appearance. Oh, yeah, I don't have that. Mao, holy crap, he did so much more damage. Okay, Sebla, calm down. <laughs> All right, you don't have to exaggerate, okay? <laughs> that Shella guy is kind of good. Uh, you know, I've seen better. <laughs> wow, he doesn't have Mythic Dagger? Wow. That's a nice necklace, though. Oh, he does have movement speed. I should also run movement speed, though. Gems. I'm so slow. That's some nice gear. Ooh, 285 offhand. I didn't even know there's a 285 offhand. I actually know that it exists. 35 gloves, offhand, cloak, shoulders, necklace, damn, bracers. <laughs> Jesus. That's a character if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually know that Jailer is an offhand. I do have a 28. I do have a 28 DOS. <sighs> but maybe you should start with a 27. Oh yeah, no, I should be checking out the Joy Talent trees. Yeah, you're right. Uh... All right, let's take a look. Are there actual images? Like, is there an actual thing? Wait, seriously, they all just wrote it? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, let's look. Baseline Druid Abilities. All max level Druids will have access to these abilities. They are earned through leveling and uh, do not require you to spend talent points. Okay, so Wrath. So every Druid has Wrath. That's interesting to know, yeah? It's not just... Um... Oh, we're looking for a sign, okay. It's not just... Um... Like Munkin or whatever. It's all druids that have wrath. All druids have regrowth. All druids have revive. Which is not rebirth, right? So this is just no out of combat rest. Then everyone has entangling roots. Everyone has bear form. Bark skin. Growl. Taunt. Cat form. Stealth. Dash. Ferocious bite. Aquatic form. Travel form. Flight form. Tell for moonlight. Mark of the wild. No. Oh no, why? You're telling me they're giving us more class buffs instead of less? Oh my god, seriously? Oh my god. Can't we just remove class buffs? No buffs suck! Especially druids, as if druids would need a raid buff. <laughs> Druid is literally... Oh my god. Uh, 
Mass damage reduction. And speeds. Wait. Is this a single target buff? Oh no. All party members will be affected. Okay. So it's a raid raid buff. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Well, to be fair, maybe it makes sense if they're taking away all of our other utility because now druids don't have utility baseline, right? Like for example, if, if you only look at the base ta baseline talents, then we don't have Roar, we don't have Solar Beam, we don't have Innervate, we don't have Typhoon, we don't have Vortex, like all of that stuff is now talents, which doesn't mean that you can't skill them, but at least we don't have any baseline utility anymore. Because all of this is uh, nothing, like it's not real, no real utility, right? We have Taunt, I guess, which is like, and sh I mean, we still have utility. <laughs> it's still Prowl, Bash, Stealth, Entangling Roots. Now we do have utility. But anyway, so let's look at the class talents. The class talents are probably gonna be all of that utility that I just talked about is probably class talents, right? So we have Rake is a class talent, Frenzied Region is a class talent, Rejuve, Starfire, Starfire. Oh, granted by default when selecting balance, okay. Thrash. Bark's can duration increase. Thanks for one year, Yashi. What's up? Bark's can duration increase. I'm not sure if that's very good. Because it's already super long anyway. Unless they shortened it. Oh, last eight seconds. That is shorter. How long is, is, is Bark's skin now? I think it's shorter than eight, right? Uh, not sure anymore, actually. Swiftment. Um, star search, gonna be the as well. Healing astral damage and empowering the damage bonus of any eclipse. They keep the eclipse? Wait, where's Starfall? Oh my god, where's Starfall? This is very important. Cast down waste of falling to different enemies. No, it's still not gonna stack you, Sid. It's still not stacking, right? No. Casting several extensive like, duration of active moon fire and Several days from now, and the last one to cast one moon, but now has a 12 second cooldown. No. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why? I just want... I just want to press Starfall whenever I want to. <laughs> Why? This is kind of cool. Okay. Blessing of the Loom, Blessing of Anshi. Uh, okay. Let's increase Wrath Astral Power Generation and increase Star Power of Effect Damage. Fear of Disguise. Twin Moons or Stellar Flare? Oh my god, can I just not remove Stellar Flare? I wish it would just be gone. Then Onits or Time One Dream Binder. Funny Eclipse the cost of. Oh, this is uh, our two set. Uh, four set, four set. Convoke. Uh. Incarnation or Convoke? That's a bit awkward. Circle of and Death. Celestial Alignment that blasts all targets between you and the selected area for astral damage? What? What? Wait, that's kind of cool. Blast all targets between you and the selected area for us to and applies Moonfire and Sandfire? Huh. That's kind of cool. 
But it's in the same choice as Pulsar. I don't think you would... I mean... I mean, this looks interesting, but it's probably not going to be as good as Pulsar, right? Because dots do zero damage, so what's the point of applying a lot of them? <laughs> Especially if they don't give us more astral power, because dots right now don't deal any damage and don't generate astral power. Dots are so bad. So m applying dots and everything is like, yeah, whatever, dude, I guess. New moon, sure. Toss that, okay, if you have a loon. Shifting out of income before it expires ends the effect and refunds a portion of its cooldown. Ooh, what? What does that mean, a portion of its cooldown? Wait, that's weird. Convoked spirits is an increased chance to use exceptional spell or ability. Does that mean we get a shorter cooldown? Well, that's so weird though. The way it's worded. Does it mean I'm going to use my incarnation? And if I shift out of my incarnation after 10 seconds, then the, rem the cooldown of it is going to be reduced. I guess it's interesting because... If you use Incarn and Pex die super fast, then you can shift out of it to save the duration. But it's not going to help you in a raid, because why would I want to reduce my cooldown? I mean, I, I don't know. It's, I don't know, it's interesting. I don't hate it. Okay, now we have Adaptive Swarm or Balance of All Things. Orbit Breaker, every 30th shooting star calls down a full moon upon its target. Every 30th shooting star... Not every, or, hmm, every 30th shooting star. That's a lot of shooting stars. I guess it would be, hmm. hmm. I think I like that for, for like AOE. Because if you play Orbit Breaker with this thing here, I'm not sure if you would even play this, honestly. You can just play Orbit Breaker by itself. Because Sunfire cleaves anyway, and then you just apply Moonfires, and then the full moons are just like flying down, you know? But 30, 30 shooting star procs are a lot of shooting star procs. Like, that's a lot. For one full moon? And full moon isn't even that good. It's nice because it generates astral power, but what are you going to do with the astral power on AoE? Oh, this is just... The fact that Starfall doesn't stack is such a big problem. Because imagine you run Orbit Breaker. Having the full moons is really nice for astral power, right? Because you get 40 astral power when a full moon procs. But the full moon itself does not do that much damage. Of course, it, it's free, so it's worth it. But what are you going to do with astral power? So let's say you pull 20 mobs and you put dots on everything... And then there's like full moons that are flying in. And then what do you do with the astral power? Star search? Like, uh, I don't know. I think they really, really have to remove Starfall from, from not stacking. It's so bad. It just feels so bad on Alien. I don't mind if it's targeted again. Like, I don't mind if it's like a rain of fire or something. Because uh, I don't need my Starfall to be 40 yards around me. Okay, what else do we miss? Let's see. Um. Star Lord. Oh, then we have Gor Goldrin. They have, to, they have to be more specific, I feel like, with some of these talents. Because what does it mean Star Search has a chance to summon? I, I need a number. 30%, 0.5%. 90%, you know. Casting Starfall, extensoration of active. This is a really bad talent. This is bad. Bad. This is. Did, did you guys know that we have this at the moment? Do you guys know that if you press Starfall, your dots are getting extended? 
Are you aware of that that is in the game right now? Because it's so bad that no one even notices that it's there, honestly. <laughs> like, it's just not, it's just, I don't know. That should, if anything, it should be baked into Starfall, I think. But whatever, I mean, some talents are kind of whatever and it's fine. Then shooting stars. I guess if shooting stars doesn't have a diminishing return anymore, um, and Starfall wouldn't, uh, and Starfall would stack, then this would be nice, but yeah, whatever. Improved star search is also not very good. Solar Beam is a talent. While I'm looking for him, single target attacks, like, oh, Alkin Frenzy, yeah. Alkin Frenzy is a talent. That's kind of whatever, I think. That's a PvP talent, probably. <sighs> oh, Celestial Alignment by default puts dots on everything now. Bring the Celestial Bodies into alignment over this target area, applying Moonfire and Sunfire to all enemies. Hmm. That's interesting. What about incarnation though then? Does it mean the incarnate doesn't do that? Oh no, it does. So whenever you press cooldowns, it applies dots to everything, which is pretty nice. Oh, shallow left. Then we have force of nature, nature spell lens. Or a loon. Eclipse. Casting to server empowers wrath for 15 seconds. Casting to wrath empowers staff for this current donation. Wrath cast and reduce. Uh, I wish we could get rid of Eclipse too. Sucks. Okay, I don't know. I'm not too excited about this. Mainly because of AoE though. Because some of this stuff looks really cool. Some of this stuff looks really, really nice. But uh, mainly for our like, single target kind of raiding shenanigans. But as soon as it comes to like AoE stuff, then I don't like that they didn't change Starfall and kept Stellar Drift away this and stuff. It's like, meh. Yeah, I agree, Aldemort. Starfall not stacking is literally like the worst. It's just so bad. Playstyle wise. It's just it's just really um Like I, I log on my warlock and I'm spamming Rain of Fires and it's so fun. Obviously it's kinda of broken, right? But I, I don't even ask to, to spam Starfall every global. I'm just asking to press it more than every ten seconds, you know? <laughs> Cause we don't have any other AoE spenders. So what the fuck are we doing with our astral power? It's just it's just really annoying. It's just really bad. Play cell wise. It just feels bad, you know. But anyway. Let's see what the Moonkins are saying. Oh, there's something with, there's also some bad thing going on apparently with, uh, I think just positions. Oh wait, what are we doing? We're we not doing hall, um, DOS? But anyway, they're posting the stuff uh, for feedback reasons, right? I don't think they're posting this for feedback of base spells maybe i don't know but i'm gonna go over this in more detail and think about possible feedback and stuff i don't want to just bash on this right because it's it's not even alpha is not even out yet so they still have more than enough time to change stuff but yeah bear back one second and then we do dos
All right. Please, whatever you do, just rework Starfall. And Eclipse. Okay, let's look at this. Okay. Thank you so much for 1,000 bits, Anonymous. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Wait, is Anshi different? Did I... I didn't read Anshi properly. Like, Blessing of Anshi and the other thing. Because I thought it's the same as Legion. Let's find it. Oh, no, it is different. Okay. Blessing of a Loon. Lunar Eclipse is three seconds longer, and Solar Eclipse is three seconds shorter. And Blessing of Anshi is Solar Eclipse is three seconds longer, and Lunar Eclipse is three seconds shorter. Okay. Hmm. That's actually kind of interesting. I think I like that. Because then you can kind of have like a single target slash AOE and you can pick and choose whatever you want. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at the, maybe I do a video or something on the talent choices.
it's really hard to think about this without actually having alpha though, I think. Because a lot of the talent, like, the general idea of the talent is something you can talk about. But the way it actually works in game is going to be different, right? Because Especially because a lot of the numbers are not there. Like, certain percent chances aren't written down um, and other stuff. So it's really hard to, to really see or think about um, how good certain talents are. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, for example, country count, yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to tell stuff like this from just looking at the talent trees. Obviously, there's still feedback you can give, right? I mean, you can talk about certain position of talents and um, whenever there's choices, you can say, oh, you would never go with this choice over the other choice, you know, like stuff like that is always... Um, Oh, I think we didn't want to have Woe immediately, right? Just don't kill it, forehead. I'm just gonna focus down this warlord. Then we should be fine. Oh, we don't have Sooth, do we? We do not. We are be hiding our limbs under our souls one Sunday. Give them to your boss man now, or you're gonna be sorry. Real sorry. So you can be sending them to the mall. I'm not so slow. No, no, no. no. Old that warlock movement speed. Also, I'm really not happy about Mark of the Wild. Well, obviously I'm happy that uh, Druid has a buff, but the problem with it is that that means that they're not gonna change class buffs, probably. Unless all of the classes get a class buff, and then it's kind of whatever at that point. No hard feelings like if every class is a class buff, then uh... <laughs> But then what's the point of even having them in the first place? But if you collect me mojo from a few of me business partner, then together we got to turn the tables on it. I'd be keeping this old lord distracted. Go on now. Follow the path. And don't you be taking no for an answer. Oh, I think that. Can I soul on him? Oh no, that wasn't even I think. That was that. Uh, okay, thank God. Sir. That was just a havoc. Oh, I'm in front like this. Here we 
got it. Antagonist Err. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how do we kill Vi? When I <laughs> chaos folded Err. Stunning. We should just carry this guy along, I think. Mm, just gonna internal again. Am I the only knife player? The other warlock's knife player too. He's not clicking, so I guess I'm clicking. Fine, I guess. <laughs> Darkness. Alright, we're looking good. Ish. I'm chaos building Ur again, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> that hurt a little. There's another one. I am silenced. Silence again. Nice reset.
All right, let's do it. You will pay dearly for this. This should prove entertaining. Away with you. Hold this a moment. I would step lightly if I were you. Now, where to put you? My curios can prove quite deadly. Thank you so much for gifting us up to a crying bim. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Now, where to put you? Hold this a moment. Hold this a moment. Have you ever wished you could fly? Or a warlock sign? Darkness. Away with you. Oh, nice. He's a mere trinket. I would step lightly if I were you. Away with you. Hold this a moment. This should Wait, be shit. Our things are on top of each other. Away with you. That is not good. These are more than mere trinkets. Okay, we're fine. Have you ever wished you could fly? Away with you. Ascendance. Hold this a moment. I would step lightly if I were you. Now, where to put you? My curios can prove quite deadly. This should be entertaining. Now, where to put you? Here to give this one a try. Oh my god. I, I didn't want to use my gates and my circle. Because uh, it, it was like in a storming and on top of the everyone else. I thought I might get um, the lightning on me. Them brokers be up to something. But then I died to fall damage anyway, so I guess I <laughs> might as well have tried to use the circle. Yeah, I didn't wield this fun if you're a warlock. <laughs> That's true. Me want them souls, Bon Sandy. Me want Rastakan and all the other Zandalari. It ain't wise to be holding out on Wazala. You're gone and forgot what it mean to be a Loa. Your bond with the people, the power you share. Oh. The only power that counts be dead, and dead be coming for them all. Okay, am I clicking again, I guess? Fine. I thought this was a give and take. One time I press, and then the other warlock presses, but I guess I'm just pressing all of them. It's fine. I'm not upset.
<laughs> yeah, I can't check out. <laughs> we doing the boy? Okay, I'm just gonna pop this. I don't have dark packs. Oh my god, it hurts so much. I have nothing left. <laughs> I am so dead. <laughs> oh, I can. Nah, actually, maybe not. Understand this? Spirit, no time. I'm super dead. Healing tide. Jesus. Okay, this guy needs to die, like, right now. Keep it. Oh, thank God. Oof. Okay, well, nice. Why is this wall drifting not moving? Oh, the pet's tanking it. <laughs> We have to kill him before the next um, enrage cast. Nice. Really good. You know, it don't just be trolls who be coming to ask for old Buan Sandy's help. All kinds be making deals with the lower adept. Like these two crazy little gnomes here. They both be hungry for power. So we were more than happy to oblige. <laughs> But now, um, maybe needing that mojo back. Cool. What have we here? That dusty old Loa has sent debt collectors already? But I haven't had his mojo long enough to create my masterpiece. Um, I personally make my nameplates go outside of the screen, so... Like, they will automatically just build up, like, a tower. But I personally think when, um... If you let them go outside of your screen, at least they don't move around that much. Like, if I move my screen down, then I still don't see the nameplates anymore. Because I don't actually think there's a point to keep them... to keeping them in the screen. Um, because you can just move your camera up if you want to see them, you know? Because you, you have to do that anyway, I think. And if, if they're... If 
if you keep them inside the screen, then they're all gonna like move around constantly because they're trying to stay in the screen. So if you move your camera a little bit, they're all gonna move around and change position. So it's really hard to click on them. That's why I just had them go outside because then they at least won't move around that much. They're still all gonna second throw each other, but it's slightly better, I think. Are we gonna last this or, or no? I'm gonna put some health stones here. I'm gonna light you. Shadow you up, lumbering old. Lumbering? The mighty Millhouse Manastorm has never lumbered a day in his life. Power beyond your comprehension. Power beyond your comprehension. Spirit may totem. Power beyond your comprehension. It's laser time. Power Why, welcome, Tide of Moonkin. Now you'll witness my full laser power. time. For sure. Ouch. I've got to move out of this real quick. Thanks for friends of peanuts. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. I'm gonna uh, am I deaf? Uh, Shit, I have nothing there. Jesus. So, Ayo, I think you can skip it on Yalt if you've done it in main. No, I didn't have dark packs. It, w it came, it was ready after it hit me. But you can check the vault if you. We're killing well. This pack is so hard. Yeah, just hits the tank like a truck. Yep. Spirit may totally. I honestly think this pack should be skipped on high keys. And that's or pod at least. Wait, I'm Frankly, not that's a skill issue. Why did my pot not proc? Oh, you spawn here. Darkness. Oh shit. Oh. And actually, this this pack is really bad. I think. Because first of all, you you have no space, and it just has so much damage to the tank. It's insane. <laughs> I don't have a pet anymore.
get no major lower one Sunday. Now give me them souls. Okay, we have one more guy. I have all cooldowns ready. But me remember. Remember how the truths be turning away from you? All them sacrifices, all that blood, how they were gonna We don't need worshippers. The jail are gonna give me all Is he earning or am I earning? And one Sunday the one who's gonna be forgotten. Okay, apparently he's not earning. Frankly, that's a skill issue. I thought you would press. You asked. Like the warlock asked, earn first, question mark. And then he didn't press it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, we can maybe uh, still go, yeah? Or did we reset? Okay, whatever. Do we, we might uh, still have time? Actually, we used all of our cooldowns. I guess, uh, I guess we can't. Yeah, I don't want both of us to click the urn, right? Because obviously... Uh... <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grummels. <laughs> like you. Because obviously that uh, Enrage Spirit has a lot of HP, and if we don't kill it fast, it's going to cast a third Enrage. So both, both of us clicking is really bad. And the Warlock just said click first, question mark. So I assumed he would be clicking, <laughs> which honestly, I mean, I don't know. Does that mean, I don't know. I don't know. It just felt like he would click when he says earn first. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it happens. I clicked all the other urns though. Like he didn't click a single urn in the whole dungeon. So I guess I could have figured that he's not going to click this one either. All right. But I could have just asked in chat, but but then we were already pulling, so um. Someone goes to Ally from Horde. Are they also realm transferring if they were on Horde dominated server? When I'm confused, what do you mean? You're saying if... You're asking if people are transferring to different realms if they change their faction? I mean, that depends on the person, I guess. I don't see why you would, though, if everything's cross-faction now, right? Like, everything... Like, it doesn't matter if your alliance or horde, you can do everything with each other. So I don't think it matters. Like, why would you change the server then, you know? The auction has its cross-faction as well.
Yeah, ex exactly. It, it's cross faction, not cross realm. So it it does not matter if you're alliance or horde on the server, right? Because if you want to mythic raid, you can mythic raid no matter if you're alliance or horde. If someone was horde and Drenner EU, but switch to ally, would that put you to a disadvantage? No, I don't see why it would. No. I don't see any disadvantage of being alliance uh, when there's only 5% alliance players. Also, all of these statistics with the 90% versus 10%, they're all before cross-faction was even a thing, right? I'm sure... I'm sure servers that were like 90% Horde versus 10% Alliance are now not 90 versus 10% anymore. I would assume they're more like 70-30 or something maybe, or 80-20 or whatever. But even if it's still 90-10, it still doesn't matter, right? Mm -mm. Feral has adapted Swarm, okay, interesting. Yeah, what did they do? What did Rester Druid get actually from the con from? What did Rester Druid get from the talents from from the covenants? Unless he got convoked too. Yeah. Not reward abundance, spring blossom overgrowth, invigorate memory of the mother tree. Oh, they also got convoke. Okay. I see. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Bater, our rogue shot caller from a few days ago, and then we're gonna do some more keys. They got Convoke and Swarm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Swarm is an interesting one. Did they, like, rework it a little bit? Because, I mean, actually, uh, it's kind of fine. It's just really weird that it does shadow damage, no? As a rested druid doing shadow damage. So I, I was thinking that if they bring back something like Adaptive Swarm, I was thinking they would make it more druidy. Because it feels very covenant y. Like, as, as well as like Ravenous Frenzy, for example. Ravenous Frenzy doesn't feel like a druid spell at all, right? I think it's very like Venthyr, but not so much druid. And I was thinking kind of the same for, for Adaptive Swarm, because the dot slash hot portion is really druidy, I think. Like having a hot to jump around and the dot, I think that's that's fine. But um, like the fact that it still does shadow damage instead of like, I don't know, nature damage, right? Why wouldn't it do nature damage like Insect Swarm? That used to be in a spell. Munkin used to have an ability called Insect Swarm, right? That was just like a swarm of insects. That did nature damage. Interesting that they keep it as shadow damage, I guess. Yeah, maybe they changed the color or animation for it a little, maybe. Insect Swarm was before we had Sunfire, yes. Oh yeah, what happens with... Did they change Wild Charge? To not be depending on your form anymore? Because that would suck. I think Wild Charge is a really cool spell. 
Wild Charge is one of the coolest druid spells, like being able to have a different uh, move movement ability depending on what form you're in. I think that is really cool. So I hope they don't change that. I hope they don't make it specific. Thank you so much, Rokey Shell. I appreciate that. 10 out of 10 damage. Um, yeah, PayPal me for the, for the carry, yeah. I uh, whispered it to you. Thanks for one year, Haifu. <laughs> yeah, when are we doing those Destro lessons, Shella, yeah? When, when are you going to teach me the ways? <laughs> Thanks, Haifu. I hope you have a nice Friday. Thank you, thank you. Feral has also Convoke and Swarm. Oh, okay. So everyone just has Convoke and Swarm. Interesting. Hmm... Okay, it, it maybe seems like it's just uh, missing some tooltip stuff, actually. So I don't think they changed Wild Charge. It would also be really weird for them to change Wild Charge. So I think we're good. Oh, I, I wrote Lessian. Sorry, typo. Have you guys seen this? Apparently Burger King Austria made a pride burger that's either two tops or two bottoms. <laughs> I mean, to be fair... Okay, what would you eat? Two bottoms or two tops? I think two tops might actually not be that bad. Two tops? Hmm... Eh, you would want to have two bottoms. Really? I think I'll go with the tops for sure. Two bottoms is way better. Two tops is misshapen and too much, too much red. I like when there is more red. I usually when I eat burgers, I always think that there's just the ratio between meat and bread is always off there's always too much meat com in the, compared to the amount of bread that there is i don't like it i wish the ratio would be in favor of the bread because i mean i like meat you know but i don't like to have 90 percent meat and 10 percent all the other things because i like the other things too you know that ratio is always a bit off, honestly. That's why I always hate it when they make those like monster burgers, you know, where you have like the burgers like this and there's no way you can eat it with your hands. If you cannot eat, a okay, unpopular or popular opinion, I don't know. If you cannot eat a burger with your hands, it's not a good burger. It's just not. Because then it's not a fucking burger anymore. And if you can't pick it up and eat it like a normal human being without, you know, breaking your jaw, then I, it's not a good burger, really not. Because then, then you might as well order meat and with bread on the side, you know? <laughs> if you're going to eat it with your fork and your knife anyway. <laughs> I support this opinion. Good, I'm glad we're on the same uh, page. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you that Twitter post. <laughs> yeah, I agree, um, yeah. It's the worst. Welcome, friend. Thanks for press up, Jared. Thank you so much.
Unless the fork burger is ultra tasty. I don't know. I, I always feel like, like some burger places are also like, because when I eat a burger, I don't need it to be like super expensive meat, you know? You know how sometimes you go to a burger place? And I, I think this is like a very, very American thing where you overdo stuff with food. Like it's just o like overdoing it as in a burger with like super expensive meat in it. And then there's like a million toppings on it. And then there's like gold on it and whatever. And I'm just like, if I want really expensive meat, because I, I mean, there's meat that is really good, right? But then I'm going to order like a filet or something, right? Because then I can really enjoy the meat without anything else right like if i eat a really expensive filet then i don't need there to be like tomatoes on it and bread and salad and whatever then i'll just eat the fucking meat when i eat a burger i don't need super expensive meat because i'm gonna eat it with all of these other things that are on there like the bread and everything right <laughs> so <laughs> i don't know and like, recently i saw a tiktok of a milkshake, um, like, I don't know, like a place that sells milkshakes in America. And their most sold milkshake was a milkshake that wasn't even a fucking milkshake. Like, it was a milkshake with, like, a whole ice cone in it. Like, a cone with, like, three pieces of ice cream on it in the milkshake... And a cheesecake on top, like a piece of cheesecake. And I'm just like, dude, that's not a milkshake. <laughs> that is a milkshake and a cheesecake and ice cream. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but what are you doing? <laughs> and I just looked at it, I was like, oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> If <laughs> you're going to get diabetes, might as well go all out. <laughs> True. I'll show you. I'm sure I can find it somewhere. Something like this, wait. Vanilla frosting at the side of the glass. I think you crush in Oreos. Like what's? I guess it's this is probably just to look cool, right? Because why would I want to eat stuff from the? Like what is happening? Look, and now they put chocolate covered Oreos in a cheesecake. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, because, like, I'm sure all of these things are really good, but why would I want them together? Why can't they just be apart? <laughs> why can't I just have a milkshake and the cheesecake on a plate? <laughs> and then maybe some cookies next to it. Yeah, right, Alessia. Yeah. <laughs> What's the plan, boss man? I don't know. I don't know, dude. We're gaming. Do you have a tanker, man? Let's see. Do we have players? <laughs> I 
Now is playing Mitch. Any tankers? Doesn't look very good. <laughs> <Good lady. laughs> Thanks for two months, Dolly Guy. What's up? <laughs> Where's Brian? Still playing with Ono? I guess. What a seat of the... Pr oh. Let's see him. Thanks for two months again. I appreciate it. I know, Jared. I keep... <laughs> I keep noticing that I'm running around in Oribos and I... I constantly tell myself, stop running around. And then I still just always do it. I <laughs> think any special rats are needed for before 24, 25 keys. Probably not. No, you can probably just press W. Just press the W key. What if we sign up for this? Sign up for that 27? There we go. Oh, there's trees! I just, uh, I didn't actually notice them until you just said that. <laughs> I really need a list as well. Um, yeah, what, so if I would be pugging, especially when I'm pugging like lower keys, like be, below like 24 or something, I would almost always pick like the easiest routes possible, even if they're like not very efficient. Like, for example, don't skip anything unless you really have to. And if you want to skip something, use woe, the woe relic. Don't expect people to use invis pots because it never works. People don't have an invis pot or it's on cooldown or they use it and then they didn't dismiss the pet and then the pet pulls and it's like, and then especially even if you manage to, to skip, then afterwards maybe someone dies and they release and then they can't come back and it's like, so never skip anything <laughs> first. And second of all, it's almost always better to go, um, to go like safer stuff. The one thing I don't like, 
if you're the tank, I think you should always pull what you can pull. If um, there isn't like a million spells to interrupt. One one thing that I noticed on lower keys is that sometimes tanks pull too safe. And you have to understand, especially when you play with a Destro Warlock, Destro Warlock scales with the amount of mobs that you're fighting. So if you pull three three mobs into three mobs into three mobs into three mobs, then not only are you gonna be obviously slower, but the warlock is gonna do like exponentially less damage. Because the less mobs you hit with your reign of fire, the less shards you get back, the less you get off of your infernal cooldown and so on, right? So the bigger the pulls are, the the more value you actually get from a Destro Warlock. Just for example. Of course, if you can't tank it or if you don't have enough interrupts, then don't do it, but Because in the end, it's always about the tank surviving, especially on 45 keys. There's no point to do a big pull and then the tank doesn't manage to survive. Because it's just a lot of tank damage on, on 45 high keys. You can use 26 hulls. For fun. Yeah, randoms definitely don't kick well, but it's usually also, like, people always say that. People always say randoms kick badly, but then no one actually makes an effort to help them kick. Because anyone in the group can use markers, right? So if you are, even if you're the healer, you could, you can technically set markers onto the important targets and assign kicks beforehand, before you even start the key. You can say rogue on star and hunter on cross and then he always use those two markers whenever there's mobs that need to be interrupted or whatever right and yeah it's not going to be perfect but at least you have some form of assignment because then people feel more responsible to actually use their interrupts because if there's no assignment at all then people never feel like it's their responsibility right and it's like oh well, I didn't kick, but this other person also didn't kick, so. Or everyone kicks at the same time, and then you don't have anything anymore. <laughs> like, all that kind of stuff, right? Twenty-eight spires. Sounds like our key. Twenty seven theater of pain. Twenty seven streets. Twenty six DOS. Twenty seven streets. Oh no, wait, so <laughs> we already we're two damage dealers. <laughs> Oops. I mean, I could queue up my 28 DOS, but... See if anyone's... Okay, I'll be right back one second and then uh, maybe I queue up just my DOS and see if we have a good tank to queue up. Yeah, that's true as well on the runs. 
Usually when it comes to kicking, I think most players that are not kicking just have really bad nameplates most of the time. Like, they literally just don't see it. <laughs> but that is incredibly important. Like, if you're an M-plus player, especially as a damage dealer, you need to make sure that your nameplates are properly set up. There's so many things you can change with nameplates, with the... Um, um, C-Vars. Um, like, so many things. You can change the distance and the positioning and blah blah blah. And you need to do that to make sure that you can actually see stuff properly. I know sometimes it's hard when you do really big pulls. But uh, there's so many things you can do to help you see them. You can change the color of the nameplates. You can make the cast bar bigger or smaller or different or whatever, you know. Lots of things you can really do. Or use focus kick macros as well. You can use... Uh, if you don't want to click nameplates, you can just focus. The target needs to be kicked at the very start. And then you just press your focus kick macro, right? Yeah, one sec. Man, that's a lot of declined. Yeah, if you use a mouse over uh, interrupt macro, you still need to make sure that you have good nameplates still. Otherwise, you're just gonna drop the wrong thing, right? It's a big hunter. Let's go with the hunter. Yeah, tank though. Because look at the actual talent room. 
It's a lot to scroll. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still scrolling. Okay, so this is Eclipse, I guess. Oh. Huh. It's interesting that the improved star file is to the left, but then there's, there's Dream Binder here. I guess Dream Binder also works for Starfall, but it's really bad for Starfall because you obviously can't uh, stack it, so... Yeah, this is a little bit weird because the orbit thing is here, like the moon orb. Is it that one? The, the orbit breaker or whatever it's called but then starfall is here hmm what's this And I think it's hard to, to find tanks. Yeah, so let's see, the last row is... The last row is... Yeah, it is Orbit Breaker. Oh, improved incarnation convoke. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I was watching a stream once who focus kicked and across the entire top of their screen was the focus cast bar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have, I have the target cast bar at the top. To be honest, that's not even that bad. Like a focus cast bar on the top, uh, then you definitely don't miss it, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, dislike that too much. Hey Slane, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Tracker? Happy Friday. Nice. Congrats on being done. I'm sure that was a lot of work. Man. I was already... I already felt like it's too much work when I was doing my... You know when you have to do this small... Th it's not really a thesis. You know, when you have your... What is it called? Like the last year of college? No, it's not college. High school? The one where you're 18, where you have this exam, high school, yeah. You have to do like this really tiny like thesis with like 40 pages or whatever, 20 maybe, I don't know. And even that one was too exhausting for me. Fuck that.
<laughs> you copied it anyway? Hey, I did ends. Well, I did at first, and then I fixed it. <laughs> like, I think I'm... Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna take a short break and then try again later. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna leave you for today. I'm gonna have to go to uh, order something to eat because I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing in my in my fridge. I'm gonna have to order something. And maybe I put together the spinning bike as well. Maybe. I'll think about it. Seems like a lot of work though. Maybe I do it tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on Monday again. I hope you all have an amazing weekend. We got 3.6k score today. Pretty successful day. And maybe I do a video on that uh, on the talent tree for druids as well. So keep an eye on my YouTube. I haven't been posting in a while. Well, I did, but not very frequently, at least. Toast Shella. He ghosted me earlier when I asked for a license, though. He just ghosted me. Uh, unbelievable. GG. Just sounded 26 dollars. Uh, nice. Uh. Uh, how can I tell what dungeons are good for Shadra versus IKD uh, versus Ruby Ancestro? Bru Ruby is good in every dungeon uh, because you just press it on the relics, right? Uh, but you need really, really good management on the relics in order to use it properly. It's very hard to use. Sigil is very good when you line up with like potion. Okay, we have Sigil pot here, so we're just gonna bang, right? And then I like that. Uh, IKD is more for like uh, halls. Uh, it is more for all. It's the only dungeon not. we play it in? Wow. Wait. What? What are we looking at? I don't know. We're looking at this really handsome streamer. <laughs> Do you know him? <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Streamception, oh my god. Spoiler. <laughs> Alright, Shella. Coaching lessons, when? Alright. 